Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of the Just Effa Podcast. Welcome back, welcome back. I'm super excited to be here with you today. Today we're going to be talking about or focusing on the negative energy, on navigating energy in other people and ourselves. Today's topic is just talking about how we deal with other people's energy and how that has to deal with us. And sometimes when we receive that energy, how do we perceive it and how does it, you know, affect our lives? I want to preface this by saying many times, right, we hear people say, oh, this person's energy is off. I don't want to mess with them. I don't want to do this. I don't want to do that. And a lot of the times we think that people are crazy for saying that. Well, if you're one of those people who have said it, you are like me and you are not wrong and you are not crazy. When I tell you guys sometimes, you can feel when somebody's energy is off. Off. you can feel when people's energy is different towards you and I just want to play a few like please pay attention and please listen to that that is sometimes the Holy Spirit telling you okay if I you may need to step take a step back or you may need to proceed and continue this relationship and foster it with this person it is so important that we listen to ourselves and that's why it's so important also to be in touch with who you are because you kind of know and you're able to easily navigate when energy is off now i'm not telling you all to say okay stay away from somebody somebody may have had a bad day right and then you meet them that first time and then of course the energy is going to be off and it's just not going to be as nice as or they may not come off as nice as they typically are but a lot of the times we can typically tell when people are just like a bit uh I don't want to deal with that and uh, I don't want to deal with this so please just pay attention to that so I'm not saying don't be friends with other people or like just don't like mess with people just for the sake of it but sometimes you can you can tell when people's energy is or are off and I just want to say pay attention to those things but this is why this episode is so important I'm going to talk about how you can sometimes tell that like people's energy is off and it's off towards you and how you can respond to that the first thing I would say is beware of people who jokingly always insult you. I know I'm not the only one who has experienced this. There are some people who they may see something in you. Let's say they like this blue dress, right? Which I'm wearing right now. And instead of them saying, oh, if I, your blue dress is nice, they would say, hmm, that blue dress is short though. Is this so? Is that though? Like you kind of like shadingly insult me, but like you're trying to compliment. It's nice so, but like it's not really nice. Trying to compliment me but you're like loki loki insulting me about that i would just you guys quick story <laughs> so i was f- once friends with someone who all the time this lady hey oh if I, your nails are too long if I, your nails are this my nails will be busting nice style that i've done you know everything looking good you know that it's looking good but you just don't want to give the compliment but the nails were looking nice every time it would happen or sometimes soon to the job you know i'll wear something which is short she'll be like ha your dress is short though this other than the third and it's just like you know this dress is nice why wouldn't you just say if i this dress is nice or more so if you don't want to give a compliment you don't have to to be honest with you so she kept doing that all the time all the time like jokingly insulting me but you're trying to compliment me but you like you know you're insulting me in the process and i told her i said you always do this thing i'll stop talking to you if you keep doing this like it's not a joke right i don't like that because you're shadingly insulting me but you want to give me a compliment like what are you doing so she was like ha 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 it's nothing she kept doing it lo and behold if i see her now say hi da, 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 da. but i wouldn't like oh sister best friend da, 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 da. because i'm just like honestly i'm not doing this you know i'm not navigating through this like your bad vibes or bad energy and everything the second thing is beware of people negative human beings who cannot say any good thing about other people because one day that will become you that they are not going to say anything positive about i do not like people who are negative like there is nothing absolutely nothing that you can like or compliment about somebody else like you're trying to gist somebody about something and it's like oh yeah you know she can cook but hmm, who's I did take all that chop go you know just like and this is very very common with like 
<laughs> Africans, I don't know about other people. I'm sure it's the same. But like, always like trying to say something negative. Like, just back, back. I just, mm -mm, that vibe. Take it away from me. <laughs> Take it away from me. Like, I'm not dealing with that. Why can't you find something good to say about other people? And this also goes, like, coupled with the fact of, like, complimenting other people. If you don't have something good to say, I'm sure you all have heard this before, but if you do not have something good to say about others, do not say it. If you cannot find a compliment, dig up that compliment and give it to someone for something that you truthfully admire. Don't say a word and don't backhandedly compliment someone and like try to insult them. That's bad behavior and that's bad fashion. The next thing, I'm low-key guilty of this as well. The next thing I would say, which I have also been guilty of or I am guilty of is just people who complain. I think living in America, I think if you live here, you will know. People complain all the time about every single thing, every single thing, literally. Like, and I would say I was, I've also been guilty of this. A few weeks back, I was talking with someone and we're talking about traffic in Atlanta we complained and complained and complained and complained and then someone who was standing next to us would be like was like wow you guys have complained for so many minutes maybe you should just be grateful that you're actually healthy enough that you can drive which that definitely like checked me put me back in my place and I was like yep definitely should not be complaining about that but definitely yes people who complain just that negative energy we need to navigate that and we need to change that there are some people who are just not satisfied with anything and it's just annoying I get it, I get it, but like, yeah, that's not energy that I want to be around or I feel like it's a like good energy that like you should portray. Now, the last one and the last piece is, if you're African, this is for you. <laughs> Our Cameroonian, oh my God. We condone people who have bad fashion. Now, so ide. That's what ide. You get into a party or somebody will get somewhere, right? A gathering, there's a bunch of people already sitting down. And you walk there, you don't even greet. You don't even say hi, hello, nothing. Just people who have bad fashion. And then we always just say sometimes, that like, oh, now so that person, they, oh, that's how they are. You know, that's how they are. What does that even mean? People have literally nasty attitudes and that's really bad that's rude and just like look it's disrespectful so no that's energy that like i refuse to navigate around and just be like why do i have to condone with all of that so yes absolutely not dealing with that and now finale 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 is people who talk to you or have a conversation with you only when they know they can benefit from you now i'm not saying that people should just we should just have irrelevant conversation or communication with others but i do think that there's an important you need to be able to maintain relationships. Some of us brag about the fact that, oh, you know, this when there's distance, you know, you cannot maintain a relationship. Well, if you can't do that, then it's difficult when you may actually need help or need something provided and that person cannot be able to, cannot do it for you, right? So you need to be able to work on that skill of like maintaining those relationships with other people so that if there comes a time where you need some help for something, they are able to actually help you. Like, let's not get into the habit of like only talking to people when we know that there's something that, you know, they can give us or there's something that we can benefit from them. I feel like that's like not a good attitude to have. And it just makes it weird, right? Because the person knows that you're only coming to them when they need something from you. And that's just not good energy. But yeah anyways i hope those tips have helped you honestly this is me just talking just like navigating energy if you feel something is off it may be off so listen to yourself pay attention and like don't make people make, let, let nobody make you feel like you're crazy because somebody else's energy is off if you feel it respond to it don't be rude don't dismiss people but like pay attention to it because sometimes you just never know the outcome but yeah this is the end of the video i'll catch you guys in the next one bye